Early Star Wars Outlaws PS5 players paid $110 only to have Ubisoft issue a new patch and tell them to start a new save file or face game breaking bugs. <laughs> yeah, imagine, like I told you earlier, imagine paying premium money just to start early and then it, it fucks up your save. It's like, re refund at least the, you know, the added cost for early access if you just wasted the player's time and all that. Yeah, I heard there's actually some players who've gotten about like four to five hours in already. And then like they, they try to reload their saves and they're getting an error. So yeah, uh, that sucks. Man. And I heard that you can actually beat the game in like 15 hours, like under 15 hours. So this person yeah. got almost halfway yeah. through the game already. As far as I know, at Mr. Manny Place, that was his average play time, 50 to 16 hours and he finished the game already. So yeah, it's not really that much. It could be a good thing, especially with like games that they've made in the past, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is way too big, way too bloated. So uh, that that could be more of a good thing, provided that those fifteen or sixteen hours were actually packed with really good content. But I I don't feel like that's the case. It's it's not the worst game in the world, not like Concord or Dustborn, but it's not like a really really good game that you must get, especially with the price that they are asking for. Yeah. Yeah, oh, X-ray girl and Mauler have played it. Neither of them have seemed to be enjoying it. Jojo, man, you see, uh, if you continue on a prior save, you unfortunately face issues and a progression blockers when you purchase through the link. Okay, yeah, but uh, the thing is that um, as a person who worked in the game industry and is still working in the in the game industry, uh, they obviously did not hire enough QA testers for this. And uh, QA testers, like I said, um, are basically the backbone of all like everything that's gaming and th th there's a reason why to hire them in mass and in contract because if they hire them full-time as an actual like, ubisoft employee um it's going to cost them too much so they contract them for like ten dollars fifteen dollars an hour and now they're also outsourcing qa now they're not even doing it in-house anymore so you're getting a bunch of bugs that does might not even get back to you on time for them to fix it it's it's sort of sad though in, in the way and the fact that people who played you know i, I believe uh, what's it called again there uh, i think moist and a bunch of other people who's bought this game like they they paid premium money for this and it's and it's yeah. sad yeah I've, I've heard people actually refer to that new trend of like three day early access for like an extra 40 dollars as like the streamer version <laughs> that's, yeah it's, like, it's really like it, it kind of it's kind of true also because i think yeah. every time i've ever gone for one of those deals it's because i was planning to stream the game and i might have made back what i spent on the extra the extra yeah. thing but i think they realize that like streamers will kind of be forced to play it like three days early otherwise everyone's already watching other streamers play this game mm -hmm. and uh yeah that's why i've gone back to playing things like doom yeah yeah <laughs> There's a right here. There's an update from Ubisoft representative provided the following comment quote on August 27th. Our teams identified an issue where some PS5 players were playing on a previous version of the game. We we quickly deployed an update and informed the affected players to ensure their game was updated to the latest version uh, and advise that they begin a new save to avoid additional issues and progression blockers. We followed up with an affected uh, with affected PS5 players today to inform them that we have provided them an in-game Trailblazers trinket as well as a hundred uh, Ubisoft oh, wow. Connects uh, units to redeem an in-game rewards, for example, uh, to make their return of the Outer Rim a little bit more special. So it's like, oh, here you go. Is it, what is this trailblazer trinket anyways and what and how much is this worth in real life money ubisoft yeah, connect like, units fuck off you so they couldn't just be like hey here's like a, a, pick a free game anything that we've released 2022 or earlier on ubisoft connect because it's the that's their storefront by the way in case anyone doesn't uh -huh. know what ubisoft connect is so basically what they're saying is you have points that you can get like a like a skin or like a, a different I don't know. It not nothing like a weapon. It'll always be something just kind of cosmetic and Jojo. God, she's getting very territorial today. Jojo. Raji's a good boy. Anyways. Um, but yeah, like they should just be like, hey, like pick a game, any game. You want Far Cry 6, just grab it. Like that that would have mm. that would have made a lot of people be like, okay, well, it still sucks and you should release a game, but thanks at least. Like you're giving me some value here. But no, no. You get an in-game keychain, everybody. Isn't that isn't that great? <laughs> Yep. Oh man. See the the thing is, um, 
how do we know how long it took for them to make this game? Right. Uh, no idea. Probably pretty short turnaround because EA had the exclusive license for Star Wars for quite some time. Oh, that's true. Um, this got announced what like two years ago, oh. and it's already out. So, like, I mean, uh, like, yeah. I, I it, this is the problem with the AAA industry right now. They're just trying to crank stuff out super fast, and all of it's yeah. releasing like shit. But it looks yeah. nice, so a lot of people defend it. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's telling true. you, people see pretty graphics and they're just like, oh man, this is Star Wars right here. <laughs> like and, and I mentioned this multiple times in the past. It does for me, graphic fidelity doesn't really do anything for me anymore. Like, yeah, your, your game could look very, very good, but ultimately it's gameplay. I think gameplay is king. Yep. And uh, if your if your game sucks, you have issues like that. Like, and okay, um, so the game that I I, I worked on, it took about three years for it to f- officially go into beta. And our game has been out for six years. So totally, it's like total is, we, and our game is a live game service. Um, it's, we've been going on for about nine years now. But so let's say, let's give him a benefit of the doubt of five years. Five years, they announced this game two years ago. So they've been working. So this will be like about six, their six years. And this, like you said, Mark, uh, one of the highest marketing budget f- for any game out there. And this hey, game, five, you got to think though, five years ago, Battlefront 2019 was coming out, right? Battlefront 2. Mm-hmm. So, was I feel like the EA troubles and like the EA license moving away from being exclusive to them for Star Wars and being shopped around to other studios had to happen after that. So, like, I, I really don't think it's possible that this game's been in development for that long. Maybe I would say, I would say, given them maybe four years, maybe I'll say that's four yeah, years. I even, I even think that's a stretch given how, like, Remember, Ubisoft used to release Assassin's Creed like every year. So you <laughs> imagine the, the the churn rate for that. So yeah, for it, I, that's even though it's like normal for other game studios, I think that's a long stretch for Ubisoft. Maybe yeah, I think two to three years. That's for me. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, what what game came out like a couple of years ago? Was it was it last year? That was Jedi like sixty Survivor. That was, was sixty dollars. That was sixty dollars that everyone in the game industry says do not compare this game to our uh, to that game because that's a once in a lifetime thing oh Baldur's gate exactly yeah and Baldur's gate was amazing yeah it's it, it, was, it was there's so many like replay uh replayability and there's different stories multiple endings and we have this article right here from that park place a Baldur's gate 3 developer appears to blast ubisoft pricing of star wars outlaws while also explaining why he thinks all games should cost more at base level so <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so i i think that's a it's like yeah i'm blasting you guys but also why games should be more expensive but. what's the guy's name michael i can't really see their douse is that yeah douse yeah yeah so michael i mean Dows. that guy he seems like a like a kooky kind of fun guy i i i think he's pretty soft on the triple a industry he's also been tweeting about how excited he is for dragon age veil guard so oh no i don't know <laughs> man like <laughs> i'm yeah. just like okay cool man just gonna make another rpg just, just gonna, yeah, it's, it's it's fine you don't need to defend that game's these gonna games. be mid at best either that or veil he's just guard. trying to keep them doing mid shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> i i just think that there are so many games right now like um they're thinking like look how real this looks look look how good this is right i think one thing that we can always go back to is uh cyberpunk the game promised you know they promised a bunch of stuff from cd project red and then the game came out broken as fuck and then after updates numerous updates i believe the game is actually really good now yeah it's a much different type of game than it was before it's much more just like an open world action game it's still got the same sort of story mechanics and everything but the way you build your character is now much more far cry than rpg where you used to be able to just make a really really broken op character in cyberpunk whereas now now you you, the the combat balance is a lot better you can't just you can't just absolutely destroy the game anymore which uh, is kind of a good thing but it also i don't know changes it a bit yeah but yeah uh i i've seen images of um terrible not images of footages of terrible ais where um they they're literally shooting like the the stormtroopers and they like she's hiding in the bush i yeah, also the asman I, gold clip yeah the asman gold clip was hilarious so he basically yeah. is like like dragged them into a bush and, like dragged like four of them and he's just hiding in there he's like i'm not moving i'm not moving and then they're like where's where is she you gotta find her <laughs> how is this how is this good gameplay? And then another guy on TikTok is like, wow, this game looks really, really good. It immediately falls through the map. 
Well, Mahler was playing. I saw him getting, he was in the middle of like a high wanted level, I guess. Like, or that seemed like the effective thing where they were like sending TIE fighters after him and stuff at a certain point. But he was just like at the top of a little perch with like a charged sniper rifle that you like, it honestly takes about this long to fire. It's like, Oh man, that one gun, he would have like stormtroopers climb up the ladder and they'd be sitting there. He'd be able to charge that whole thing. They'd be like, stop. And they wouldn't fire a shot and he'd still be able to get that shot off. And they'd only come up one at a time. I was like, man, this is him at like a max wanted level where there's tie fighters in the sky and they're sending one stormtrooper up at a time. It's like, well, this game's not ready, is it? <laughs> like it's you can't tell me that's how that was supposed to function. Funny enough, pretty similar to like the one system in Cyberpunk that at launch was was not good. <laughs> they yeah. they might as well have just not had it in the game and be like, you know what? Night City is now a lawless, <laughs> lawless wasteland. Or we're just never going to have cops because we can't make it work. It probably would have been their better bet. Yeah. And the thing is, we have in a couple of months, we're going to be getting Assassin's Creed Shadows. So uh, that game probably has a little bit more development time. But uh, I think we might, it, g given the track it's, record, what we have now, like, do you think that game is also going to suffer from like numerous bugs as well? Yeah, likely. And I think it's going to suffer yeah. most from the fact that it's like we already have Assassin's Creed Shadows at home and it's fucking Ghost of Tsushima, which Tsushima. is like really good. So it's like, wait, what? Well, who cares? Yeah. Like, who, like who, who's really going to want to play the like Assassin's Creed in Japan thing if you've played Ghost of Tsushima? I just I can't see anyone getting pumped for it. That said, a lot of people like Assassin's Creed, uh, so it might sell OK, but uh, I don't know. I, I have zero interest in it, like none at all. What about you, Gray? Um, you, you how far did you get with uh, Ghost of Tsushima? Oh, it's still still the same. It's like I have so much at my backlog that I wasn't able to get back to it. So I need more time before I have a better impression of Ghost of Tsushima. Because I, I really think it's okay. I don't okay. think it's really, really good compared to majority of what people are saying. Yeah, but, but what about compared to when's the last time you played an Assassin's Creed game? Because <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think it blows most Assassin's Creed games out of yeah, the water as yeah, far as I, like, its gameplay is concerned, at least. Yeah, it kind of toppled Assassin's Creed already. Back, it's like Assassin's Creed was okay before Ghost of Tsushima came up, but then yeah, I think Ghosts kind of set the benchmark compared to modern Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, I'm like I said, I've never played any Assassin's Creed game, so I'm not sure if they're. Uh, I I might check out Assassins. We'll see, but uh, uh, yeah, I, you honestly at this point just skip them. <laughs> like there's, <laughs> there, there's other game series that you could go back deep dive in that I think you'll have a hell of a lot more fun, and it's not like Assassin's Creed really needs like the attention, you know. Like it's, uh, yeah, I, but, granted, I mean if you if you want to like make a video on it, studying it or something, maybe. But uh, I I've played a fair amount of them. That they're okay. Yeah. Some of them have moments, yeah. but overall, they're you know they're just kind of okay. Yeah, Ubisoft kind of saturated their own market. J just mm -hmm. finish near first fill before you jump into another franchise. <laughs> I don't need to play. I need to beat an automata. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.